Today, I am going to make a room that can fold up for easy storage. Using a large white trifold, lots of scrapbook paper, a printable from our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com, balsa wood, I think that's how you say it, I found it in the woodworking section at the craft store, lots of glue, and clear plastic from packaging. I start by taking the trifold, flip it over to the back, use a ruler to find the center, draw a line at that center point. I went up 18 inches. Make a mark at 14 inches on the sides. Draw a line connecting the top of the center to the side. Cut on the line drawn just along the top to separate it, giving us a basic house shape. When we turn it around and open it up, we will have the inside of our room. Let's lay it down and draw a few details. I'm gonna draw on the back cause I already have that center line, where I can draw a large rectangle that goes all the way to the top. Draw a three inch window on the side, repeat so everything is symmetrical, open the trifold and stretch out one of the sides, and draw a door. My door is 13 inches tall and four inches wide but I need to add a small line at the bottom. That was too large, let's make it smaller. So we'll have a small place for the door to lock into so it stays in place. Cut out the door and windows. I hang on to the door cutout, we will need that later. Take leftover cardboard from the trifold and draw a rectangle to match the rectangle we drew in the center of the room and I added 3 fourths of an inch on each side. Cut on the outer edge, trace the top of the room, score the lines on the sides that are 3 fourths of an inch so we can bend them. On the back wall, cut along the top roof but keep the sides straight. This is going to allow our wall to pop out just a little and add some dimension. Now that I think about it, this is going to create a little bevel that I don't want. So I cut them off completely and I'll glue them right onto the edge. But before I do that, I trace the centerpiece onto leftover cardboard and cut out two more that we will use later. Glue the strips onto the sides and cover it with paper. I'm using a printable from my blog. Carefully wrap it around the edges to make an architectural detail that will go on the outside of the room. But before we glue that into place, Use a wood grain scrap of paper and cover the entire structure, starting with the outside first. Wrapping the paper over all of the raw edges to get around the edges that bend, close the trifold, then glue the paper over the edge. I trimmed off the excess, then give it some time to dry before opening it up. When you do open it, you want to make sure the paper goes into the crevice when the trifold is laying flat. Fold over the extra paper and glue it on the other side. I didn't worry about covering all of this area because remember we made this to cover it up. But it's not time to glue this on just yet. Turn the trifold around to the other side, cut the wood grain paper into strips, glue the strips onto the trifold, leaving a little space between each row to look like the inside of a log cabin. Cut clear plastic from packaging, glue it over the cutouts for the windows, cut the balsa wood to go around the windows. This wood is pretty soft, I can cut it with an X-Acto knife. All I do is score it going around all of the sides, then add a little pressure on the last side, and it's done. Use hot glue to attach it, Cut a leftover piece to fit right across the middle. Take the cutout from the door, trim it down just a little, cover with scrapbook paper, unfold a paper clip, cut it in half, push the cut paper clips into the corners of the door, push the other end of the paper clip into the frame of the door, cut and glue wood all the way around it. This will add strength to the door frame, especially across the bottom end. Flip it over 
and add wood to the other side. So it looks finished on the inside and out. Now let's glue the stone wall in place. However, I'm not loving this color. I want something a little more gray. So I changed the saturation of my printable and recovered it. Glue it directly to the outside wall to look like the back of a fireplace. Trim the top edge with more of the wood to give the illusion of a roof. And since I avoided putting wood in the corners, the whole thing can still fold up for easy storage. I found this battery-operated lantern at 5 below. It has a really cool glow when it's turned on and has the illusion of flames. I'm going to use those pieces of cardboard we cut out earlier to make a box around it so it looks like it's a part of the room. On one of the pieces of cardboard, I trace the sides of the lantern so I can draw a rectangle to cut out. Cut two more pieces of cardboard to go on the sides. Glue them together to make a box. Glue it on top of a square of cardboard. Cover it with the stone printable. I covered all four sides, giving us the option to use it as a room divider. Take the lantern, turn it on, place it in the top to make a fireplace for the room. Cut, stack, and glue together thin pieces of cardboard, cover it with scraps of paper, glue it right above the fire to make a mantle. Glue picture hooks onto the door for handles. Take the leftover cardboard from the trifold, cover it with paper to make a floor. Completing our fold-up ski lodge with a five below fireplace that we can move around the room and place on whatever wall we like. I love having options. Now we can use a few things from previous videos to make it comfy. Like our sectional sofa. We can turn it around and have it face the fireplace. Add a small rectangle of faux fur for a blanket. A few throw pillows. Cut fabric for a rug. Add a dollar store coffee table. A printable book or two. And a cup of hot cocoa creating a miniature ski lodge scene. This is a pretty large space. You can have a lot of fun decorating it over and over again. Plus, it's kind of nice that everything can be moved around. And the walls fold down for easy storage. We have a door that can open and a fireplace that glows. I think I like the fireplace best when it's in the center of the room. I moved things around a little bit, used a smaller couch, I was able to add our table from our Versus Remint, and a little tree in the background. This is such a cute little festive look. On the first day of crafting, my froggy stuff made me a ski lodge that folds down. On the second day of crafting, my froggy stuff made me a fireplace that glows and a ski lodge that folds down. That's all I got for now. But thank you for joining us while we did a little crafting. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuff and the frog vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! Cabin out